Hey guys, today I'm here to tell you about the chair I've just bought, review it and tell you how the whole building process went because there's a few negative reviews saying things don't fit and you know things are a bit tight and screws don't align up and I'm here to share how my experience was with it and I'll tell you from now it was so stressful but it all works out in the end. So this is the Racemaster office chair the GT series and after all the reviews I was a bit <sighs> and after all the reviews I didn't know whether I should purchase it or not and honestly I weren't gonna do it but I just thought I'll click that pay button added it, it arrived and this is where all the stress began no one told me how hard it is to build a computer chair it's not necessarily hard if everything fits perfectly but with the back with the back connecting to the base of the chair it's a really really tight squeeze so after taking it out of the box I then started putting things together I attached all the wheels to the bottom of the base I don't I don't even know what it's called um, and then I attached the arms to the base and that took a fairly long time because I didn't just it one of them didn't seem to align so I moved on to the other side and I attached that side that weren't too bad and then it was a struggle of getting them to match up with the other side one of the holes are fine but one of them was most certainly not it took me a few days to work around this problem and I was just trying to push it in screw it and it just weren't working out for me I needed someone to hold it really in place so when I was cooking my dinner one day I kind of looked at my chair whilst my dinner was cooking I thought there's something I can do here. I'm just gonna shove it against my desk really hard and hope that's enough pressure for the back to push forward to the screw I needed so it would align. And after five minutes, I got the screw in the hole all aligned up and everything was set to go. It did. <sighs> but my first initial thought when things didn't line up was just. I've wasted, not necessarily wasted my money, I still had a chair and it was still functional as a chair. However, I didn't like the fact that one of the screws were undone because that would mean it would break sooner or, you know, durability wouldn't last as long. So when I got it all sorted, I was absolutely 100% satisfied. Comfort and everything. Well, I've sat on a few office chairs, obviously, from my parents' house, my exes, but I always got lumbered with the shittiest chair going, and that's what I've sat on for the past two, three years now. It was basically in the basement of my old place, and it belonged to my friend, so I was like, I'll take that, because I had nothing to sit on at the time, and that just did me for that amount of time. But the reason for me buying this chair was my old chair was just doing my back in so quickly and the bottom of my spine were hurting which affected the top of my neck and I needed a new chair to be able to sustain the amount of time I play on a computer or even just do work at my computer and it's definitely one of the best decisions I've made, especially now. I wish I got it sooner. It was the m it was one of the cheap it was one of the cheapest chairs I found, and it looked really comfortable. The only thing I could find on it was mostly foreign videos about reviews and stuff. Obviously, I couldn't understand it. Um. I know in them said it took them a while. What one guy in the review said it took him about 20 minutes to assemble, and I just think that's bullshit, mate. But 
most of the people said it took them about an hour probably because they had the same method about I did but I think you'll find the screws will all fit in the end as soon as you got the final screw in you tighten all the screws up because it's been taking a lot of pressure so they haven't been screwed up to the max and you're good to go going back on to comfortability because I, I get so distracted when I'm talking about stuff but going back to how comfortable it is it's really soft and I found just a few days of using it I did have like arse cheek indentations in it <laughs> but that's always that's always gonna be a thing and it means it's not spongy it's not but it's really comfortable and it supports my back so well the headrest if you're my size I'm five foot five the head rest is like just in the right place and if you're taller than that your neck will rest back onto the top of it which is also I think would be very comfortable as well it's adjustable in the heights that you have it if your desk's like high up or down low so it's adjustable to height the arm rests go up if you don't want to use them I always use mine I always want someone to rest my hands on especially with my mouse being in front of me so that's just an extra bonus and the price as well the price on Amazon and this is in pounds it says it's it used to be 99 pound 99 I found them on eBay from for 66 pound and that's from Germany and that's also with free postage and I just got the one on Amazon for £74.99 because I wanted it like as soon as possible like, I won't wait in a week for it to come from Germany I got it within two days from Amazon so that was nice so this is the chair when it's all built and I managed to fix it eventually as I said and this is the final 100% complete no more crap to do chair I got the chair in blue because I just felt it went really nice with grey my first choice was the white but then I thought it'd be a bit too bright for the room so I stuck with the blue and it worked out fine I think it was the best choice I did now I'm just awkwardly showcasing the chair and doing stuff I probably wouldn't normally do I won't have the arms up for starters, like. Yes, that is also a tattoo on my leg. So this is the chair I got, the Race Master Office Chair Racing Look GT Series. And yeah, it comes in multiple colours absolutely beautiful the black and pink struck me as one that I would have liked but I wanted more colour you know so I ended up getting the light blue or possibly teal I'm not entirely sure it looks light blue but in some lights it does look teal Um. The yellow one struck me as well, but I, do, I just don't know what I'd put with that, like decor and all that sort of stuff. And the white and red also struck me, but knowing me, I'd probably muck it up in the first day, and that's that. So, oh, also the pink one, but that's too pink, too pink for my liking. And there's also different styles. There's one with like the two little windows in the headrest, and just the one. Um, yeah, so I, will, I want to read some reviews to show you what I was reading as a customer considering to buy this chair. So it's rated 3.3 out of 5 stars, okay? Um, so that's pretty decent to me, but when you compare the 5 stars to the 8 stars, and yeah, you just got to weigh it all up and it looked pretty even to me so let's go with the one stars 
this is what struck me the most and this is what sca also scared me the most um, basically all the ones with one star reviews is on about how the screws didn't match up properly so they end up getting cross threaded and all that sort of stuff and one guy at the bottom said it was very uncomfortable to sit on I definitely don't agree with that but each to their own I guess so this is pretty much what you presented with like it doesn't look attractive but in no way shape or form can you see that they are in their very sturdy and yeah that is exactly the problem I had you see all I had to do was push the back of the chair into my desk for it to push the hole forward so I could then screw it in it took a lot of pressure but it does fit I need you need to know that it does fit and that is the exact that is exactly how much distance I had off off the hole and everything ended up fine to me and now it's a very strong sturdy chair and it's actually the same hole I had a problem with as well As for the five star reviews, everyone's saying how comfortable the chair is and how easy it was to put together. <laughs> Some of them anyway. I definitely don't agree with that. <laughs> Someone said it took 15 minutes to put together. Bloody hell. Someone even has it in a tattoo studio. Definitely a good looking chair though. Ah, what's this? After reading previous reviews about the difficulty in putting this product together, I was a little worried that I had bought a dud chair. My, my feelings exactly, I felt the exact same. I shouldn't have worried as I had this chair together in less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Bloody hell, man. Bloody hell. I'm gonna... Oof. Makes me feel like crap, that. With no fuss whatsoever. <laughs> oh. In regards to the chair itself, it offers very good value for money. It looks the part, feels very sturdy, and will give my 14-year-old thousands of hours of comfort while doing his homework or play an Xbox, would definitely recommend. I completely agree with this review, other than the 10 minutes, maybe you've just got to be like some chair building pro or something. But there's plenty of happy customers with the chair and the people that have had problems with what I have, it is fixable. And you don't have to do anything to it, just let the chair set in and push it as hard as you can it won't break it honest and you sort it I hope you all enjoyed this video I know it's not videos that I usually do but I feel it's closely related to the whole gaming community and the stuff that pretty much is necessary for gaming the chair I was playing games on definitely weren't healthy really and the back problems it's caused me now I can comfortably sit for hours on end playing games and it makes me so happy I'm able to do that now so I hope you enjoyed this review and till next time bye